I love the smell and sound of things burning. I also love when my opponent's bones break and shatter. You know, there's 25 competitors facing for my AWF Unleashed Championship. You know, I, I can't wait because really I could beat all 25 of y'all. But there's going to be one person that's going to get lucky enough to win and have the chance to face me later on for my championship. You know, I don't think that one person has in mind that you don't realize you're getting in the ring with the Sith Lord, Black Death, Demir Morningstar, the Dark King around here. I'm the top of the food chain around here. This is my division. This is my bitch. And I ain't going anywhere and neither is she. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. This is AWF Grudge Match. I am Gabriel Anders, and we are opening. We have three great matches for you tonight. This is the first on the card here tonight. We have Mighty Mike, who's looking to rebound and get himself a another victory after uh, being knocked out of the first ever AWF Grudge Match tournament last week. A strong showing, but was not able to outlast Maverick. Uh, controversial uh, knocking out of Mighty Mike in the tournament, but Ozzy G has agreed to this matchup here. This will help Mighty Mike see if he can get some momentum back and Ozzy G looking for momentum of his own as Saturday September the 21st Ozzy G will be competing against JC Westerfield. Uh, many are surprised at Ozzy G taking this match but definitely wanting to get every bit of competition and work in until he fights JC Westerfield a very tall task as he competes for the winner of the Gold Rush tournaments. So Mighty Mike now impressive as he's gotten a two count on Ozzy G but Ozzy G able to kick out. This match continues here in Garage Match. Of course we're coming to you uh, from the AWF Arena in Phoenix, Arizona. Crowd behind Mighty Mike, Ozzy G, also a fan favorite. We have two very, uh, well, Ozzy G, an established fan favorite at this point in amongst a lot of circles in the AWF Fan Nation. And Mighty Mike has been uh, definitely drawing the, uh, drawing the favor of the Fan Nation in the last following weeks here on Grudge Match. Ooh, Ozzy G with a nasty power bomb off the turnbuckle. That's one way to ground a superhero. Ozzy going for the cover now. Two and oh, I thought he had him there. Just a two count. Ozzy G, we mentioned again, taking on JC Westerfield. Ozzy G able to win his bracket at Gold Rush in August in this very AWF arena. He'll be competing at Bull Shooters. Tickets on awflive.com. Overdrive 11. He'll be competing in the Gold Rush Tournament Finals against JC Westerfield. JC Westerfield opting, opting not to compete. Some see it as cocky, arrogant, and a sign of his character, and some see it as wise, although I would say cocky and arrogant is, well, those are uh, very nice, generous phrases to uh, attach to J.C. Westerfield. Ozzy G now catching a back elbow. Mighty Mike now on the offensive has really been able to keep up the offensive, which is impressive. A drop kick now going for the cover. Middle of the ring definitely worked on that ring placement. Ring placement long, uh, might have contributed to a couple of spots where he may have had Maverick beat, but was not able to finish the job. Mighty Mike, that is. You have to know he had to watch those tapes of Grudge Match and 
definitely has Ozzy in better better position when pinning. Well, wait a minute, Mike. What are you doing? You can't be arguing with the referee. you got to focus on your opponent here. Here he comes back into the ring. Oh, my Lord. Ozzy G back with a vengeance. Mike, you can't get distracted. And overall, you can't start getting cocky, young man. Ozzy G now. Big stomp to Mighty Mike going for the cover. Oh, Mike able to kick out at the last second there. One does to think frustration might be setting in for Mighty Mike, but Mighty Mike, that's no excuse for jawjacking with the referee. You know better than that. And I've certainly thought better of you, young man. And Ozzy G now on the offensive, going, trying to springboard off the top rope, but Mike catches him, reverses, says no, no. Going for a tornado DDT out of the corner of his very own Mike and Ozzy G have both hit the mat in our opening contest here on AWF Grudge Match and we have a standing 10 count being administered by the referee. Which of these two men will make it up to their feet first? Mike and Ozzy G both equally almost up to their feet using the ring ropes for support here. Big punch by Mighty Mike, followed with some offense of his own by Ozzy G. Oh, wow, out of nowhere. <laughs> Seemed to uh, uh, spring off the mat into a uh, unassisted Inseguri. But Mike now rebounding big time with a uh, almost an Inseguri variation of his own. Would have been Pele kick, wouldn't quite see it from here, but Mighty Mike now. Crowd still behind him, even though he was jaw jacking with the referee a little bit, got a little distracted. Going to the top rope now is Mike Ozzy G trying to catch his senses. I'm almost wondering if Ozzy G might have might be thinking that this might not have been the best idea. Heading into overdrive, taking this match as Mighty Mike has his number. What will this say for Mighty Mike if he can defeat Ozzy G? Going into oh, Ozzy G able to kick out. Oh, that's it. Mighty Mike can defeat Ozzy G. The winner of the Gold Rush Tournament bracket heading into the finals right here on Grudge Match. What a gigantic victory that would be for Mike. Ozzy G himself is going to have to have much better of a showing against JC Westerfield. I don't know if he is feeling the effects still from the Grudge Match Tournament where he had to outlast three other men. Or if Mike just seems to have his number now. Are we going to see the mightiest frog splash in AWF history? Mike in the top rope, going for the splash. Oh, wait a minute. G rolls out of the way and, oh my word. Caught Mike right in the sternum, did Ozzy G. Ozzy G now, feeling it back up. Ozzy, 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 oi, 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 moment coming up. Are we gonna see something here from the young man? In fact, we are. Ozzy G now, speaking of position, he has him in the corner of the ring. But just enough, not able to, he has him secure just enough. That's a three count here. Ladies and gentlemen, your victor, Ozzy G on Grudge Match. We will be right back. I'm Gabriel Anders. SOS, everything that I did went according what? to plan, and you got your first win, yay! Wait, 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 what plan? What plan? No, 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 I, I miss, I miss, I misspoke. No plan. Listen, okay, as you know, I'm in the tournament, I beat Von Dugan, well, technically, Carol just, Carol. you know, got me, so, okay. you know, but now I have Maverick, the unrendered bull, so, he's a tough one to beat. He's you gotta, a, yeah. you gotta put in that effort. You no, know? he's a tough one. Yeah, I, I'm going to win. But I need you there for me like I was for you last week. So I need you to be by there with me. Okay, yes, I'm going to be there for you. Okay. But you need to promise me you are going to win this one fair. I promise you I will win. No matter what cost. No, okay? no, 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 no. As Fair. Yeah, yeah, no. Fair. It doesn't matter no, how. No. It, a win's a win. At the end of the day, well, I'm going to win. And as long as you're there for me, okay? You know, it, it's gonna be fine. I have to get ready. I have things to do. I have to go see people. Um, so I'll let you go. But yeah, be there for wait, me tonight, wait, and I'll and I'll wait. see you later. Okay? No, we no, we no, no, no. I'll get you some ice. I'll see you later.
wounds, broken bodies, bloody messes, and chaos everywhere he goes. No. That's what you want people to see. What I see is an emo kid that took the Twilight movies just a little too seriously. And you'd think that September 21st, Phoenix, Arizona, at Bull Shooters, I'd be concerned about the Battle Royale. I'm not. Because once I bulldoze through everyone in that match, I'm moving on to you, and I'm gonna bring all of my strength, all of my tenacity, all of my anger, all of my rage to beat you down and take the Unleashed Championship. So remember, Morningstar, no one survives the execution. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back here on AWF Grudge Match. We have more Grudge Match Tournament competition here as we are into the second round of matches. Aaron Creed, who is able to, uh, with the assist of Mr. H, able to defeat Damian Black as advanced Taylor Kingsley, who is able to advance as well in the AWF tournament. Uh, so the first of two second round matches now we have here. Taylor Kingsley able to defeat Dosekis. And later in the night, we will see Maverick who will take on BGT Maverick, who defeated Mighty Mike in a heck of a match last week here on Grudge Match, and BGT, who defeated Von Dugan via disqualification. So, oh, a dominant uh, start here by Aaron Creed, and very uh, interesting here as we get down to the final four of the Grudge Match tournament. There is a very strong, strong possibility. Uh, in fact, some have even favored that Aaron Creed may take his uh, uh, ra uh, round in the, the bracket here against Kingsley, as well as Maverick. It may be favored to defeat BGT, which would be interesting, pitting the teammates, the tag team of execution, to fight in the final round. A lot of folks have been calling that. I know one, uh, one certain somebody who's been calling that, and that is Mr. H, of course. Both Aaron Creed and Maverick asking Mr. H to, to kind of stay out of things uh, because he has been uh, he orchestrating. It's very uh, strongly rumored that Mr. H has kind of tried to ins enforce his will to ensure that execution, somebody in execution, wins this tournament. And Aaron Creed now trying to do his part in making sure that execution is represented in the finals by really taking it to this ground and pound kind of attack against Taylor Kingsley. Taylor Kingsley now trying to reach for the, the ropes, the turnbuckle, anything to cause some sort of separation because King Creed is on Kingsley like stink on pig right now. No offense to no offense to the swine but Taylor able to cause a rope break some sort of separation. Referee gets the break, but Creed now right back on him as soon as he releases the... Wait a minute, he's still on the ropes, actually. Referee having to administer a count now, so Creed's going to want to be careful. The last thing Creed is going to want to do is get himself disqualified because that will not advance him to the finals. This is a very important matchup. The winner of this will go on to the finals of the Grudge Match Tournament. Creed now... Looks like feeling the effect. Kingsley trying to sway momentum back into his favor using his swift agility now. Running knee connects with Creed in the corner. Creed now trying to build back up momentum. Trying to go for another knee. Creed able to escape the corner. Oh my lord. He got hung out to dry and Creed took advantage there. Creed now pinning Kingsley. Almost looked like that was going to do it for a second. But Kingsley able to kick out at the last moment. Thank goodness. Creed now staying on the attack here as he is just taking it to Taylor Kingsley here. He's going to want to stay on him. Oh, last thing you want to do is start jawjacking Creed. Stay on him. Stay on the offensive. 
Getting a little distracted with the AWF Fan Nation here in the AWF Arena here on Grudge Match. But able to connect with that splash. Kingsley now in bad shape. Creed now going for the cover, but just a two count here. Wait a minute, Creed now getting frustrated. You can yell at and get in the face of the official all you want, Creed, but do not make contact. You have been fined for that in the past, as have many AWF stars. AWF officials really cutting down and trying to take control of the roster here, which has been abnormally uh, uh, out of line. Uh, if you saw Gold Rush and were there for us, there's a, a whole lot of business there. A uh, whole lot of folks invol uh, getting involved in others' matches. A whole lot of folks who are... Uh, not involved in matches who are coming to the aid or disrupting other matches. A, a verdict has been put out um, for officials to, to toughen up, essentially, and as uh, officials as in the referees, and officials willing and dealing more fines than probably ever in the, in the long history of the AWF here. Kingsley able to connect with the boot, going for the cover, middle of the ring. Oh, thought he might have had him there, but Creed able to kick out. Creed might have used Kingsley's momentum against him, but Kingsley trying to fight back. Both men back up to their feet. Kingsley now trying to use Creed's momentum. Creed shakes him off and a big back elbow levels Creed or uh, levels Kingsley. Creed now trying to take advantage, slow to get to the cover here. This might cost him. He might. Okay, going for the cover. One, two, and oh no, Kingsley able to kick out and. One has to think if Creed were able to be just a bit quicker on that cover, that he might have had Kingsley here. Kingsley's attack, I think, definitely of having a, a wear on Aaron Creed. Typically, we don't see that with the big man, but Creed now trying to take control. Has his skull cupped, and but Kingsley able to reverse. Use his own momentum against him. Ki Kingsley now taking advantage. Creed down on the mat. Oh, he gets him. Aaron Creed is eliminated. And Taylor Kingsley is your winner here on AWF Grudge Match. And moving on in the finals is Taylor Kingsley. I'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, while we were at the break, this happened. Mr. H made his way to ringside and attacked Taylor Kingsley after the match. We got footage of it right here as him and Aaron Creed very bitter about their their loss and being kicked out of the tournament. You see the official running to get reinforcements as Mr. H uh, challenges him to do so. I'm not quite sure what they had in mind that Mr. H, I believe, had brought a chair into the ring. We were all distracted getting ready for the, the next match here. Unfortunately, one man wasn't, as you see, Damian Black enter the ring and steal the chair away from Creed and, and give him a, a nice little attack here, saving the day for Taylor Creed Kingsley here. And God knows what could have happened as he fought off both Creed and Mr. H. 
Black saving the day, but we hear that Execution has run back and they have some words. They made it to the back for an AWF camera person. Uh, let's go ahead to the back and see what they have to say right now. God damn it. Kareem, I told you. This is exactly what I said. This is why I should have been there with you because there's no way that Taylor Kingsley, Taylor Kingsley, should have beaten you in that match. You know what, Mr. H, you know what? You were right. You were right, and I, I was wrong. I was wrong, uh, and I lost. Yeah. God, it I lost. Time. You shouldn't have lost that. You had him, you were in control. How did he pull a win out? How did picture perfect snap? A win from you. And that's on me. It doesn't matter, Chris. It doesn't matter. But we should have destroyed him. We should have destroyed his leg like you were taking it out the entire match. And we because you know, you know Maverick is going to win his match. I guarantee you. At least half of execution is getting to the finals. It should have been all of execution, but Taylor Kingsley, he just does whatever he wants and steals a win. And we were gonna try. We were almost there. We had it. But then you, Damien, you have to come out and take the chair from me. You have to follow me in everything that I do. See, you think you're this redeeming hero? Just you wait, Damien. I am going to make you feel my consequences. I am going to put you on the ground and I'm going to make you suffer. Just you wait. Just you wait. You hear the dogs of war, Damien Black? Hear them howl. Because there's one thing you need to remember. No one survives the execution. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, big words. Aaron Creed very ticked off and Mr. H as well. Half of execution very, very ticked off. And one has to go to, uh, to think that Maverick, I'm not quite sure he even knows what the outcome of that match was busy getting ready for his tournament match here Damian Black again saving Taylor Kingsley after Aaron Creed and Mr. H seemingly uh, uh, wanting to dismantle him after losing but Kingsley we know is one half of the AWF grudge match first ever grudge match tournament finals uh we'll be taking on the winner of this match tonight's main event here on grudge match i'm gabriel anders thank you so much for joining us here in phoenix arizona and the winner of this match bgt versus maverick here will be taking on taylor kingsley to become the first ever awf grudge match tournament winner and maverick now has had a dominant showing in the tournament thus far as has taylor kingsley has been able to outlast their opponents bgt uh, was able to get the uh, the disqualification pass over von dugan and well i think bgt is gonna want to take a, a little bit look, take a look at the other side of the ring young man this is a uh, very fierce competitor i'm not sure if that's a mind game or what going on by bgt but Holy mackerel, you're going to want to focus on that mass of humanity they call Maverick. Maverick now. Is that a noogie? Oh, Lord, Maverick. BGT now able to take control. Okay, let's see what you got here. Chrissy Revis is the uh, wrestler you see at ringside in BGT's corner. Of course, we know the two are, are very good friends. One super likable in Chrissy Revis and was contending for the AWF Women's Championship, still trying to get a role, will be most likely in the big battle royal coming up in Overdrive 11 on the 21st of September at Bullshooters in Phoenix. Tickets at awflive.com. 
BGT, uh, it's almost like, uh, I wouldn't say Beauty and the Beast, but definitely fan favorite. And, well, there's a, uh, a cattiness, if you will, with uh, BGT. Nonetheless, seemingly in control here. Very, uh, very nice for BGT. Big, uh, big right hands here to Maverick in the corner. Oh, and whips out the legs, taking Maverick down to the mat. BGT, I know you're flash and flare, but stay on him here. Oh, ooh, the... Oh, slap, that's... It's not going to be too effective, and you, that can't make Maverick happy here. Well, BGT is always getting... Uh, well, he's always trying to win, that's for sure, and this might do it here. No, just a one cow. Ooh, Maverick able to kick out after one. That slam was not very effective by BGT, but staying on the prowl is BGT. Maverick now really, not a lot of people have Maverick reeling here. Again, one half of execution. Oh, big Russian leg sweep. Now going for the cover is BGT. One, two, and oh, I thought BGT might be going on the finals against his nemesis, one of his nemesis right now, Taylor Kingsley. But we live to fight another day. Maverick now trying to claw up to the claw up to the ropes using the referee is you know, and they were going to be very careful here, Maverick, because any contact to the referee has been deemed bounty worthy and fine worthy. So uh, I think that the referee's discretion is obviously trying to make his way back to his feet. But keep that in mind, Maverick. Oh my lord! <laughs> I'm not quite sure what BGT was going for on the top rope. However, Maverick now. Acquainting him with gravity and the mat here and the steel and wooden beams that construct our beautiful competitive platform that is called a wrestling ring now. Big forearm to the back Maverick now. This is about how Maverick typically wrestles and competes in all of his matches here. Seems to get off to kind of a sluggish start. But once he starts getting the uh, getting his feeling, getting his adrenaline pumping. He is a hard, hard competitor to stop. And also not above a cheap tactic or two. Remember that he did defeat Mighty Mike, who seemed to have a bit of an upper hand in the last round, in the first round of the tournament, uh, with a low blow. Maverick, and that's how we're here. This again, the second round of the tournaments. So again, to refresh the brackets here, Aaron Creed defeated Damian Black. Kingsley, Taylor Kingsley, defeated Dos Equis, And those two met in the second round a little earlier tonight. Maverick defeated Mighty Mike via a low blow. BGT was dis... Uh, uh, Von Dugan was disqualified, allowing BGT to advance. And these are... That's the match that you are seeing now. Taylor Kingsley defeated Aaron Creed, advancing to the finals, who will fight the winner of this match next week as we head into Overdrive 11. On the 21st, the night before on Grudge Match, we will see the AWF Grudge Match Finals between Taylor Kingsley and the winner of this match, which, oh, for us, a bit has been looking like BGT, but this has been a very fair fight, and oh, I thought that Maverick was going to go for a snap mirror out of the car. Oh, there he is. BGT was fighting back, but Maverick able to hit it off the ropes now. Oh, my Lord. I think he just kicked him square in the jaw. BGT's not going to let us see his face for a little bit after that. Um, what's Maverick going for now? He's going for some sort of modified leg lock, but you hear the AWF fan nation here on Grudge Match wanting Maverick to stretch BGT out. I'm sure a lot of folks would like to do that in the locker room for it. Well, if you watched the BGT show, you'd know why. Chrissy Revis now cheering on BGT again. An unlikely duo, the sweet Chrissy Revis and the not so sweet at times, BGT. I think the hold that Maverick had BGT in, according to the referee, seemed to maybe have slipped into a chokehold. Sometimes you'll have that where it's positioned one way and with the just the sweat, especially here in September in Arizona and Phoenix. Uh, this is not the most air-conditioned uh, <laughs> area uh the desert that is but big face buster by B wait a minute bgt what are you doing here did chrissy revis just <laughs> chrissy revis just knocked your yeah win fair bgt even your own friend chrissy wants you to win fair see we'd like you if you just won fair maverick now with the roll-up getting the cover and 
Was that a three count? <laughs> that it was! Maverick advances to the finals here on AWF's first ever grudge match tournament. Chrissy Reeves uh, might have costed BGT, but nonetheless, we're going to go in the record books and Maverick will be fighting Taylor Kingsley next week here on Grudge Match. You won't want to miss that. That's all the time we have for you here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Gabriel Anders. Thank you for joining us from Phoenix, Arizona. This is Grudge Match, Arizona Wrestling Federation. Good night. Here's what I don't understand. You told me in the back on our first ever crutch match when I lost to SOS, the person that tried to beat you and took you out, you told me to be myself and to be a bigger, greater talent. And I've been doing that. And you were supposed to look out for me. You didn't look out for me. You actually were the reason why I lost this match. Okay, but we said, you said that you were going to win. You promised me that you were going to win clean and fair. No, I said I was going to win period. Like I helped you with your match. How did Andre you help me? How did you help me with my match? Are you kidding me? How? Do you know her? She yes. has three personalities. You don't think another voice in her head I, was going to get no, her? I understand she has three personalities, BGT. I understand that. But my point is, I was going to win her either, no matter what personality that she had in there. No, if it wasn't for me, she would have knocked you down like she always has. What do you mean she knocked me down? She's been destroying you ever since. And if it wasn't for me doing it the dirty way, you would never have won this match. You owe me your first win. I don't owe you anything right now. I don't owe you anything. Yes, a long time ago when we first started this team, we said, I said, you were a star. I said that we were going to do this together no matter what. But that didn't mean that you had to snoop down to the rest of these guys' levels. That didn't mean that you had to put your feet on those ropes and that you had to slap him the way that you did. You know what? As for someone who does it the dirty way, the dirty way, me doing what I did, made you win. So maybe it's not me who needs to change my character and my way and my morals. Maybe you need to change your morals. Stop being scared of these people and be the person you're supposed to be, Chrissy 